What's up everybody, my name is Loami Richardson. I just wanted to take a few moments to kind of tell you a little bit about myself and give you three principles on what's going to allow you to live the best version of your life. The three things that I believe that allow you to live the best version of your life is first finding your identity, understanding your purpose, and then crushing your assignment. You see, as I grew up in high school, I didn't really understand what direction of life I needed to go. And as a result, my desire was to be the most popular kid in school. But there were certain sacrifices that I needed to make in order for that dream to become a reality. And unfortunately, I made the decision of not going to school, cutting classes, not turning in assignments, and as a result, got kicked out of high school with a .68 GPA. I really had no sense of direction, and I thought that becoming a basketball player would allow me to be the best version of myself and to live out the dreams that I wanted to live. But because I did not have the proper GPA is the reason why I wasn't able to make the basketball team. And even when I tried out for the basketball team, my grades did not permit me to join it. And so there, at that point in my life, I had to make certain decisions on what I wanted out of my life. But you would think that I learned from my past mistakes. So instead of using basketball as an outlet to fulfill the desires of my own heart, I decided to go drinking, I decided to go partying, I decided to go uh, do things that, that culture would tell you you needed to do in order for you to live the best life that you can possibly live. And as a result, I got arrested as a juvenile multiple times and, and I really had no sense of the direction. I got kicked out of school with a 0.6 GPA. You know, I got arrested as a juvenile. You know, I was considered a, a juvenile delinquent with no real future ahead of me. And it wasn't until I got older and I reflected back on my past that I realized that those mistakes, though they were costly at that moment, didn't necessarily define who I was. You see, what, I, what made me who I am today is by learning the lessons that I learned from my past and allowing me to become the man that I am today. You see, I've been where you've been. Uh, I, I've been through what you've been through. You're not necessarily motivated to turn into school assignments. You're probably listening to your teachers right now and saying, "What is this? Why, why is this even important, right? I've been in those situations where uh, I didn't care about my family, my friends. I just looked out for myself and I just wanted to live life to its fullest. And that meant taking the shorter route and living my life for uh, the short thrills and, and, and to be ultimately uh, uh, do things that I desired and wanted to do. But I'm telling you is that if you can learn from those past mistakes and you can understand what your identity is and what your purpose is, you can live your best life. You see, I've had the awesome privilege of being able to travel all around the world sharing my story. I've been able to travel all around the country and to inspire young people to tell me their story and to let them know that you're not identified by your mistakes from your past, but who you become is by learning the lessons from your past allows you to become the person that you've been created to be. And so I want you to understand what is your purpose. You have something in you that is greater than your past mistakes. Allow your past mistakes to define your purpose. And as you find your purpose, you will then become the best version of yourself moving forward. So as a result of learning from my mistakes from my past, I've been able to inspire students just like yourself to be the best version that they can be. You see, as somebody who's got arrested, as somebody who has got kicked out of school, somebody who had low GPA, somebody who, who didn't you know, really care about uh, uh, the, the, the importance of education, I understand that sometimes it's just a bore. You'd rather sit on your home playing PlayStation and playing Xbox. You'd rather go out and party with your friends. And those things are exciting for a moment, but at the end of the day, what is it that you want for your life in the future? But even when I got kicked out of high school with a .6 GPA, I ultimately became the first member of my family to graduate from college. And I actually ended up graduating with a better GPA in college than I did in high school. Why? Because I understood my purpose. And another thing, which is kind of crazy, when I was in high school, I never cared to write, never cared to read. I actually failed all the standardized testing when I was in high school. But I, again, I learned from the mistakes from my past. And because of those mistakes, it propelled me to become a published author. First person, even within my inner circle, first person in my family to actually take my life story, put it on paper, produce a book out of it, and now everywhere that I travel to, people are purchasing my story because I learned the mistakes from my past. So as I put my book together, I needed to come up with a dope title for it. And as I was brainstorming, this idea of I am is greater than I was came to mind. I quickly realized that the man who I was does not define that man that I am today. You see, I am is greater than who I was, and as a result, I was able to find my identity and my purpose. 
And so I want to give you a word of encouragement. I want to give you some inspiration. Regardless of your past mistakes, you can be the best version of yourself. You see society and culture, teachers who used to tell me because I failed uh, a certain classes, because I didn't have a high GPA, because I was failing standardized testing, because I didn't take school seriously, they boxed me in and they told me that I cannot be the best version of myself. So in those moments where people counted me out, I use that as motivation to allow myself to be the best version that I can be. You see, I'm not defined by my past. I'm defined by the lessons that I learned from my past because those lessons allow me to be the best version that I am today. And as a result, someone who failed standardized testing has now become a college graduate. Because of those mistakes of not taking my classwork serious, I was now able to learn from those lessons and become a published author. And so I want you to tell me your story. At the end of the day, there's something great within you. You see, society and culture will tell you that you are defined by the mistakes, but I'm here to tell you that you are defined by the lessons you learn from your past mistakes. So what's in you? What are you inspired to be? Do you want to be an author like myself? Do you want to be a musician? Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to be able to be a, a, a tr world traveler? You want to be a blogger? Whatever your dream is, you can achieve it, but you first have to understand the potential that you have in yourself to achieve those dreams. So I want to help you achieve that dream. I'm actually offering a scholarship for students who are willing to tell me their story, to tell me about their struggles, the lessons that they learned, and how this scholarship will propel them to be the best version that they can be. Go and check out my website, loamirichardson.com backslash scholarship, and check out the I Am Is Greater Than I Was scholarship fund. And I want you to tell me your story. If you have inspiration to tell me your story via song, via a uh, uh, an essay, via a dance routine, whatever art artistic form you want to utilize to tell me your story, I want you to share it. I want you to be the best version of yourself moving forward. Don't be defined by your mistakes. Don't allow culture to define who you should be, but tap into that potential that's inside of you and allow the scholarship to help you be the best version that you can be. You see, who I am today, it was made up by the person who I was, but I am is greater than I was because the person that I am today will propel me to I know who I will be.